Bonjour, quatrième et avant-dernier épisode de notre série consacrée au GET. Cette semaine, nous vous proposons d'entendre Evelyn Brooke, l'une des fondatrices de la Coalition canadienne des femmes juives pour le GET. Elle nous explique dans quelles conditions est né son mouvement et quelles sont les principales actions de cette coalition depuis qu'elle a été créée. The first time I heard the term get and the other aguna was in 1985. Norma Joseph brought this dire issue to the attention of the Montreal community. When she and I explained to the leadership of the organized women's community, all joined and formed the coalition of Jewish women for the get only for the purposes of eliminating the status of aguna. We all knew that no change to the condition of Agunot is possible without having an informed Jewish community. So many people are ignorant of the need for a get, a Jewish divorce. So many think that the get is taken care of at the moment of the civil divorce decree. So many women think that they can just go to the rabbinical court, the Beit Din, and ask for it. So many women think, and men as well, that they will not be victims of get abuse. Some people at the beginning thought that we were encouraging divorce. In fact, our goal was to allow women to exit from bad marriages. In this minor excommunication, the rabbis asked the community not to invite the man for Shabbat to Simchot, not to do business with him if possible. Organizations are asked to take away his membership. The rabbis ask the community not to turn a blind eye to this form of abuse. Now this may seem very severe, but a man need never ever experience such an excommunication. All he needs to do is give his wife a get. There are synagogues and Jewish organizations that have passed bylaws and made policy that any person who refuses to give or receive a get shall not have position or membership in that organization or institution. They recognize the mockery that would arise when they honor a person as a role model when he is known to be a spouse abuser, a person who wields a power to abuse a spouse after the marriage has been pronounced dead. Rabbis over the centuries have moved to protect women from any form of abuse. According to the times and what was considered correct, the rabbis centuries ago conceived of the kutubah, the marriage contract, that ensures that a woman would not be tossed aside penniless when her husband decides to divorce her. All of these actions, contracts, and decisions were made with the idea of well-being for the wife. Today, we have accepted as a community that abuse is intolerable and nobody should live in a house with an abuser. Many of us have chosen not to stand idly by. Most of us, maybe all of us, do not want get abuse to continue. And I can't imagine that any one of us in this room believes that no one in our family will ever be struck by get abuse. It is difficult to do, but if the abuser is a member of your family, tell her, tell him to stop. La semaine prochaine, dernier épisode de notre série, et à tous seigneurs, tout honneur, ils ont été souvent interpellés, leur rôle, on l'a vu, est essentiel dans la manière d'accorder le get. Ils, ce sont les rabbins, et vous entendrez le témoignage du rabbin Banon, il est Dayan Obeddin et directeur du centre de Torah Sepharad de Lamont.